The following contains flashing images. Hi, I'm Delphi and I'm here with PAL TV to give you another insight into the Durham College Charity Fashion Show. Not only are they one of the most successful ways that Durham Colleges raise money for their chosen charities, but they've also become a distinguishing feature within the collegiate system. Tonight we're here at Grey College Charity Fashion Show held at Middlesbrough Town Hall to watch their show Dawn to Dusk. Their chosen charity is Acorns Project, a local charity supporting families and children that have been affected by domestic abuse in North Tyneside and Northumberland. They have a range of sponsors including Chica's Food who provide vegan healthy crisp alternatives as well as full grounding and mission to provide education to 38,000 girls with well vision. Come with us as we find out what audience, models and exec have to say about this year's Grey College Charity Fashion Show. Okay, we're here with some audience members. We're gonna ask them some questions about the show. So, what was the best part so far? The introduction was pretty strong. Yeah. Um, loud music, flashing lights, I yeah. loved it. And what do you think has been the best walk? The best walk? The swimwear so far. Swimwear. The Tom swimwear. Was men or women? I'm going to go with men. Yeah. Men was amazing. Yeah, yeah sorry, yeah. sorry, yeah. sorry. And are you excited about the underwear walk? Speak yeah. Carefully. I'm going to speak carefully. A little bit. Not very, there. We've got Toby to ask him what his favourite walk's going to be. Toby. Uh, I'm really looking forward to the male underwear walk. I've got a lot of friends in that walk. Yeah, it's going to be great. Okay, what's your favourite item of clothing and why? Oh, uh, I really like the activewear, on oh, no, the swimwear because it was like, you could like turn it inside out and it like, it's like two sides, like it's two in one. Would it convince you to buy it, watching the girls in it? Yeah, especially if it's cheap, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and what made you buy a ticket to the show? My housemate is in it and so I really wanted to support him because I mean, and it's also a really fun event, and I'm in my final year, so why not? Was he nervous? Nah, I think he was thriving. He was having a good time. So. Actually, to be honest, none of them look very nervous. For like an hour before, yeah, but then when I heard the first song, I got so, so hyped. Yeah. Like, it was just, yeah, hearing the crowd's reaction was just absolutely mental. Oh, that's brilliant. And would you, do you wish there was another night? Oh, God, yeah, yeah. yeah. I wish it never stopped, honestly. Like, I'd keep going for a week, a year. Such a high. Yeah, yeah, nothing beats it. Absolute adrenaline bust. Well, you were all brilliant. You all looked amazing. Did you guys like the makeup? Did you do it yourself or did you have a makeup artist? No, so all the models were like mucking in together, like doing each other's hair and makeup. So it was such a nice bonding experience, just kind of right before the show, just to get everyone in the mood. It was really, really nice. And are you all in different years? Yeah, so we've got the mixtures of like freshers all the way through to fourth years. So it's great for bonding. I'm joined with Amy, the vice chair. Firstly, congratulations. The show was amazing, Thank a massive you. success. Everyone had such a good time. How are you feeling? I'm feeling quite relieved. I'm glad it all went smoothly. It's been a lot of prep and a long time in long time coming so to see it all come to fruition is it's a really proud moment for all of us you should be you should really be was it hard to choreograph when they're your friends and you know them from college I think that actually makes it easier because we wanted to create a really inclusive atmosphere in our fashion show fashion shows can get quite a bad rep and because we are all friends we're such a such a family I think that really encourages that supportiveness and everyone can just have fun on the stage which I think is the best thing oh you can definitely tell that the models said that as well that you guys were amazing Finally, we're with Ella and Bella, the two chairs of the show. Congratulations, firstly. How do you think the night went? Really well. I'm really happy with how it went, to be honest. I Not major flaws. It was really, went really yeah. smoothly. Yeah, no, I agree. I think it was really good. I'm real proud of everyone involved, so very happy. Thank you. Yeah. You should be proud of the models. You should be proud of yourselves as well. They said it was honestly amazing. One thing that was really great was the combination of different couples in the walks. Like, whose idea was that, and why did you come, come to that decision? I think we both just kind of thought that it's time to, like, move on. Um, and it really kind of reflects our values and stuff like that. So I think we just thought it's, it's a good idea for our 10th anniversary to do something a bit different. With all the excitement of tonight,
tonight, it's easy to forget that the Durham College Charity Fashion Show is an initiative predominantly to raise money for charity. Tonight, over 330 tickets have been sold, a raffle and auction has been held, as well as prior to tonight, charity sport matches, bake sales, launch parties and to meet the models. It has proven to be yet another brilliantly run event with the aim of raising money for charity at its heart. Thank you for joining us. I'm Delphi and you've been watching PAL TV.